Hey guys, I'm back again with a new reaction video, this time to uh, the latest Supernatural episode um, of episode 15 of the latest season. So, I hope you enjoy. Let's go straight into it. Let's go. This is your destiny. You are the messengers of God's destruction. You gave me what I needed most. I want to do the same for you. Mom? About Billy's plan. She hasn't been real specific on the details. You, when you go up against Chuck, uh, you know what? I weave or you go straight into the full smite? Something like that. She's making it weird. She's still one of God's creatures. Yeah. One of his weird, creepy ass creatures. So do something about it, Connor. Let me ask him. Yeah. Got it. Where are you going, brother? We have house rules about being clean to eat here. Yes, we have rules, but we also have spirit too, right? Yes, we have spirit, Pastor. Be with compassion in this world. You got dead. Why would you walk up by yourself at night? Seriously. I do like the, the new title page. Hey, you got anything? Uh, this thing in Missouri, not too far. Felt like a case, but I don't think it is. So? So, local crews can't find anything wrong. There was no storms, nothing wrong with the grid. Still, darkness. You know, they're putting up the biggest Kino jackpot ever. How's that important? Chuck said Amara loves Kino. I thought he was kidding. He's not that funny. So, Atlantic City, all you can eat prime rib, and possibly one all powerful cosmic being. Oh man, it sounds like a. Key motivations food, hunt, food. Food with always Dean. Well, I should go with you. Yes, it's probably nothing. Um, so I'm what, supposed to just sit here? Well, somebody's got to keep an eye on Jack in case Billy shows up for his uh, thing. Amara is dangerous. He can't just charge in. We're not, okay? Plus, you know, she and I used to have a thing, so. Sam, what's this case about? I uh, wouldn't worry about it. it it's uh, not our kind of thing. You sure it's nothing spooky? You know what? Why don't you and Cass go run it down just to be sure? Really? What? Yeah. yeah, you said you didn't want to sit around here after the whole Mrs. Butters thing. I said, what? Just get out there, you know, stay busy. With a murder investigation. Yeah. All right, well, you guys go highway to heaven, that bitch. <laughs> highway to heaven. I'll get my suit. 
We were matching ties. Yeah. Blue's a good color on you. Agent Swift. <laughs> and this is uh, Agent Lovato, FBI. <laughs> Swift Lovato, and Lovato. The yeah. greener than Baby Yoda. He's a very smart, very uh, pale young man. I just graduated from CSI. Uh huh. But there was a message. The kid, Connor, someone wrote the word liar on his body, sort of carved it in. I see. Whoever did this worked him over good. Cut off each finger one by one, shoved it down his throat. I know how to get answers. <laughs> that cash with a what are you doing? Cowboy hat on. I'm looking up Connor online. Like Sam always says, when in doubt, Pals. try social media. <laughs> oh yeah, I did that once. There were so many cat photos. It was just there were too many cats. <laughs> or some other cat photos. Someone should be here. It says I need a parent or guardian's permission to join. You have my permission. I have his permission. Sorry, lads. Shop's closed. No more deals. We don't want to make a deal. Do tell. So, how can Zack be of service? Why is he talking like that? I don't know. Because Zack has style. <laughs> That sense. Okay. We should go. No, wait, wait. Um, I, I, I could help. Do you need a driver or? Come on, I'm bored out of my mind. No, guys, guys. <sighs> Sam I... was right. It's not a monster. Well, he was half right. Sometimes humans can be the worst kind of monsters. You, I would divide and conquer. Have Jack drink the Kool Aid and sign up. You go in flashing a badge, you know? Okay, I understand. How's the search for Mara? Well, it's dandy. We'll talk to you later. Hey, you sure about this? Hey, man, like I said, if we don't find her, casino buffet. What a good consolation, Brad. Hello. Where can I find the Kool Aid? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, I mean. I want to join, to help. My name's Jack. I'm Agent Swift. I have some disturbing news about an employee of yours. If this is about Connor. No, it's not. Valerie Jones never made it home last night. It's a bit of like soul almost, isn't it? Was always there for me. I lost someone too. My mother. Hmm. Yeah. I. Uh, my mom died three years ago. Now it's just me and Pastor Joe. The the pastor is your father. He's a better preacher than he is a dad, but yeah. Well, I have more dads than most. And I always just feel like I'm letting all of them down. I see. Um, has anyone else from this faith-based community gone missing? 
missing, but people come and go all the time. Like who? I know, um, Brother Rudy, for instance. He handled most of our AV and tech. We recently parted. Now, as long as people are willing to help as much as they can, all faiths and backgrounds are welcome. What do you mean by, um, backgrounds? Connor didn't have to live in fear of who he was. A gay man who believed in a tolerant God. Well, I imagine not everyone was happy with the change. <laughs> not by a mile. But it doesn't matter. A saint is a sinner who keeps trying. Same room. You got four hours till all you can eat. I have a process. Ooh, can your process last for six hours? Lane closures, I-76. <laughs> Damn it! Pork rinds? Pork rinds. I hmm? think we can do better than that. Hello, Dean. Miss me? You headed somewhere fun? Well, we were headed to you, actually. How'd you find us? I smelled you from two states over. You have a very distinctive mask. Thank you. Pierogies. You're hungry, I'm hungry. I like new earthly experiences, and I have never had a Pennsylvania pierogi. And please help us in welcoming our newest friend, Jack. <laughs> Hello. I hate this Hello. It's custom here that someone give testimony during prayer. Jack, as the newest member of Patchwork, I invite you to share your journey. Lost. I didn't know what my purpose was anymore. And one day something changed, something amazing. I, I guess I found a family. And I became mm -hmm. a father. And in that, I rediscovered my faith. And I rediscovered who I am. I always say people are God's hands. Each of us, a finger for him to use, to lift each other up. you think I'd do that because you've got beef with him past and present Amara I saw in the Chuck's mind his memories he asked you for help refusing to help him isn't the same as betraying him <laughs> there is see our pal Jack he's a Nephilim and he's getting stronger every day and soon he'll be strong enough to overpower Chuck now we have a way to trap him but we can't do it without you. No. Hmm? You see me sitting across from you. You see a woman. You see Chuck is a squirrely weirdo. <laughs> but you can't imagine what we really are. We came into existence together. We are the same. Chuck and I were twins. Creation and destruction light and dark balance and when we split apart all this was created hmm? the big bang when he threw you in the cage when he betrayed you when he trapped you for an eternity hmm? Dean. He's my... No, no, no. 
Why did you bring her back? You said that you wanted to show me something. That you wanted to, uh, to teach me something. But I don't know if you were following along with your little experiment. It came to a not-so-happy ending. My mom is dead. So what exactly did you want to show me? What was the point? I wanted two things for you, Dean. I wanted you to see that your mother was just a person. That the myth you'd held on to for so long of a better life, a life where she'd lived, was just that myth. I wanted you to see that the real, complicated Mary was better than your childhood dream because she was real. That now is always better than then. That you could finally start to accept your life. And the second thing? I thought having her back would release you. Put that fire out. Your anger. But I guess we both know I failed at that. You're damn right. another cosmic dick rigging the game <laughs> you're just like your brother can i trust you i would never hurt you and i'll think about it Your dad's freaking out. Did he call the police? No. The FBI guys told him not to. But I posted something about it, and my feed is going bananas. So many frowny faces. This is so crazy. Can you even believe it? I believe. Huh? <laughs> you never did. Hold on, call 911. She's here. It's Sylvia, a storage room. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're gonna be okay. Jack, follow him. Oh, dear God. Hmm? Sylvia. Shut up. Let me help you. Like you helped, Mom. Your mother was sick. She wouldn't even go to the doctor. She said, put your trust in God. And he called her home. And you made fun of her for that. No, I didn't. You changed everything. Those people in there, they don't worship God. They worship you. Let me help you. Everyone's trying to help me. Because you need help? Who are you? You're nothing. You're just a scared little boy trying to make your daddies happy. What? Jay, that mind trap. I just. Hey, who's that? Whatever she oh. needs. 
So she might be making a deal then, possibly. We never know. You know what you're doing? You're shouldering a great burden. You don't have to do it alone. Hmm. Yes, I do. I've been lying to you. Hmm. Lying about what? I'm gonna die. When we, when I, killed Chuck and Amora, I'll die too. What? Again? Billy's spell's been turning me into some kind of bomb, and when I go off, God and Amara will cease to exist. Oh, and you. I won't survive. Don't tell Sam and Dean. Oh yeah, why not? They won't understand. But I know. This is the only way they'll ever forgive me. No. Hmm. I watched you die once and I will not do it again. Sleep. How'd the case go? Oh, it went. Uh, solved it. Saved some people. Amara? Yeah. Yeah, we got her. I think she's on board. Good. Wait, what's happening? Where are you going? Going to look for another way. Hmm. I have to. What the hell are you talking about? Dean. No, I was gonna tell him. In case something goes wrong and I don't make it back, there's something you and Sam you need to know. So guys, that's the end of it. What do you guys think? What do you think is gonna happen in the next couple episodes? We've only got five episodes left. I think it was a good episode. It's nice to see the um relationship. Between um, Kath and Jack again, that's a very true father-son relationship, which is nice to see on a show like this. Because it's all about family. Um, but yeah, her mom said she's thinking about it. If you should help Sam and Dean, Cass, and Jack defeat the twin God. Um, but yeah, another great episode. But yeah, we never know what's gonna happen next. So, only five episodes left, guys. Remember, um, please leave a comment, subscribe, and also share the video if you want to, and leave a comment. Thanks, guys.